Hi, I'm Dan from Voxeo, and I want to show you today how you can use voice objects on demand to build powerful communications apps hosted in Voxeo's cloud and interacting with people over voice, SMS, IM, or the mobile web. Now to get started, if you'd like to try us yourself, you need to go to www.voxeo.com slash vo-on-demand, and there's a link there that lets you go and download the latest copy of Voice Objects 10 for either Windows or Mac OS X. You'll also need a free account at our developer portal called Evolution, which is at evolution.boxeo.com. And you can use your existing account, or you can simply create a new one quickly. Now here I am in Eclipse, which is what uh, Voice Objects 10 runs inside of. And when you download it, you get a full working copy of Eclipse right here in your system. And this is in standalone mode. And if you look on the left side, I have a project, a sample app called Prime Insurance. And this is the standalone sample. What I'm going to do is go up to the Preferences menu, which on the Mac is found under Eclipse, and I'm going to go down here to where it says Voice Objects, and I'm going to switch from working in standalone mode to working in Voice Objects on Demand. I'll enter my Evolution username and password and test the connection to be sure I have the password correct, and then I'm going to go and click on OK, which is now going to have my local Eclipse installation talking to Voice Objects on Demand. And I can see up here now I have a project called Guess My Number, and if I open it up, Double click on version 1.0. I'm going to open up the components, the module. I'm going to double click on guess my number. And now I'll see over here all the goodness that comes as part of voice objects where I can go and create this application. Now I'm just going to go ahead and control click the, uh, the guess my number and say deploy the application. It's going to deploy it up to voice objects on demand. And what you'll see happening in the bottom of the screen is a new test monitor uh, panel or screen is going to pop up. It lets me go and call my application using Phono, which lets me call it directly in my web browser. This is going to launch my browser, launch this application. I'm going to need to press the talk button to speak uh, when I want to, but I'm going to call here. Welcome to the number guessing game. I've selected a number between 1 and 30. Try to guess it in as few turns as possible. Pick a number. 15. You're too high. 23. You're too high. Oh, uh, other way. 10. Bullseye. You found it. Thanks for playing. Goodbye. So now it. I'm going to flip back to Eclipse, and you'll hear it said Bullseye, and, and I don't really like how it said that. So I'm going to go and change the application around a little bit. And I'm going to choose the success. I'm going to go under Output and Success. And when I open this up, it's going to tell me that there's an output item in English and in German. And I'm going to change this to say, uh, you are correct. Okay, and now I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to control click it and say, deploy application. And now it's going to go and deploy that back out there and up onto voice objects on demand. And now when I do this, I'm just going to go and try phono again. Let's see how I do this time. Welcome to the number guessing game. I've selected a number between 1 and 30. Try to guess it in as few turns as possible. Pick a number. 15. You're too high. 7. You're too low. Try a little higher. 12. You're too high. 11. You are correct. You found it. Thanks for playing. Goodbye. So that was all I needed to go and do to create the application and then deploy it, modify it, redeploy it. And I can keep going through this process to iterate through. And that, that's all I really need to go and do to work with this. So let me switch over to Evolution now and show you how I can add phone numbers and other ways of interacting with it. So I'm going to go into my application manager. And here's my VOD sample app in this case. I'm going to click on that. And you'll see it's set up to do voice phone calls only. I'm going to say I want to do voice and text messaging for the purpose of today. I'm going to update the application. And now at this point, I'm going to go into the contact methods. And you'll see that I have a, a phone numbers here. I have a Skype number. I have a SIP number. So I can call these. And, and this was already set. I could already do a SIP and Skype numbers automatically. But I want to add a phone number. So I'm going to go here and I say I want to get one from the United States. 
I could get them from other countries, as you can see, too. And I'm going to choose a phone number in, uh, in Boston because I'm up in this area. I'm going to add that phone number. And now you will see that it's got this number, 617-671-0180. So I'm going to switch over to my cell phone and call this number, and you can hear what will happen. Now, I'll just note that you may need to go and give it a minute or two to propagate through our network after you add a number. But so I'm dialing this, 617-671-0180. I'm going to call it. Number between 1 and 30. And I, in the interest of time, I'm not going to continue to go and, and play that, but you get the idea. So that was a call just over a regular voice line. That same number could be used to contact the application via SMS. Now I'm going to just switch to the bottom and show you how I can set it up with an instant messaging network. If I look down here, you, I can see I've got Jabber, I've got uh, AOL, Google Talk, MSN, Yahoo. I can do any of these networks and I, just for the Sort of purpose of simplicity, I'm going to use this uh, Jabber because it comes pre populated with a bot.im address. So I'm going to go to Dan Guessing at bot.im. I'm going to activate Jabber. And now my uh, account has been activated. I'm going to switch over to my IM application. I'm going to add a contact and I'm going to do it for Dan Guessing at bot.im. Okay. Now I'm going to come here, I'm going to authorize that account, okay, and then I'm going to go into my application and I'm going to start a chat session with it. I'm going to say, hello, welcome to the game. I'm going to pick a number, 15, uh, 20, 25. You're correct. Hey, great, I found it. So now I'm able to interact with it via IM. Now I can also access the same application through a mobile web interface. I'm going to switch over here and, and go through a web interface. Now this could be on my mobile phone. I'm showing it to you here in a browser purely for the purpose of simplicity. I select a number between 1 and 30, try to guess in a few turns. Okay, and so I'm going to pick a number, 15. If you're too low, try a little higher. Okay, 20. Okay. You get the idea. We can continue to go through this. So that's the mobile web interface, the IM, SMS, voice, all through this one simple interface. Before we end, let me show you one other interesting thing you can do here, which is to go back to your account. You can click on Application Analytics. And if you do that, you'll see that you have some information here, that uh, some reports that you can go and run. And I'm going to choose one on business task completion rates. I'm going to run the report and it will show me the percentage of the callers who completed the task that I had here in this sample app. And if you look at this, you can see a number of different items, average call duration, calls by weekday, caller exits, uh, events, exit types, lots of great reports that you can get, top 20 callers. All of that is available to you. And again, this is under account and it's application analytics and it works with voice objects on demand uh, applications. So with that, again, let me point you back to www.voxeo.com slash vo-ondemand to get started. And again, evolution.voxeo.com to uh, get a free Evolution account. Thank you very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing what you will build with Voice Objects On Demand. Thank you.